All right, Shalom, Shalom. All praise, is honor, and glory is always being to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahusha, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, which is the Paleo Hebrew for the name of the Heavenly Father, the Ancient of Days, the Creator of all energy, being Yahweh, and that of His Son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, being Yahweh Shai. Those be the only names in which salvation may be obtained, whether you have been given the Spirit to receive that or not. I'd like to give double honors unto the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone, who through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahushai rule all of the nation of Israel well today. Once again, whether you've been given the spirit to receive that or not, and peace, love, blessing, salutations be unto the elect of the nation of Israel, begin with the hundred and forty and four thousand prophets, all the way down to the one third men, women, and children who are truly able to receive the glorious light of this gospel, man. All right, Lord willing, this be edifying unto you. This is going to be a uh, you know, continuation of uh, the series me and the brother started through the spirit man um, called, uh, 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 you know, lunchtime breakdown. All right. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just jump right into the next chapter, which would be Hebrews, the ninth chapter. And just, uh, you know, go ahead and go in on it and uh, and just uh, go in in the spirit, man. And we're willing to be edifying unto you sincere elect. All right. But uh, go ahead, brother, if you want to read. Come on. Uh, this is uh, Hebrews 9 and 1. Then verily the first covenant had also ordinances of divine service and a world uh, worldly san sanctuary. Uh, so, you know, just continuing where it left off on the previous chapter, man. You know, go ahead and, and watch that la the, 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 the first, uh, uh, the first uh, lunchtime breakdown, all right, in which we go in on, you know, Hebrews the 8th chapter. And the likeness of that first and that second covenant, okay. And just like, just like this, uh, 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 in the first covenant, you had you had ordinances of divine service, and and a worldly sanctuary. So you had a sanctuary in which the service of the heavenly Father would would take place. You see the sacrifice of animals and things of that nature, all right? Because the heavenly Father requires blood at every transgression, man. That's why they would sacrifice the animals. And that's what it's about to go into. Now, it's not a worldly sanctuary. It's built up of bodies of men. You see, as the scriptures say. Let me go ahead and grab a quick precept. <clears throat> this is the book of First uh, Peter chapter 2 and verse 5. It says, Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifice. So you see, just like in ancient times, they actually actually had... A, a, a worldly carnal sacrifice. Now it's a spiritual sacrifice, man. A, acceptable under the heavenly Father by Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, which you know that sacrifice is 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 you being given over unto Yahweh, man. You see, you you are made yourself that sacrifice, so to speak, man. Let me go ahead and grab another precept real quick. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, this is the book of Romans. chapter 12 and verse 1 it says beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of the heavenly father that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto the heavenly father which is your reasonable service you see when you go into romans the sixth chapter it talks about how when yahweh shai was crucified so were we man you see that old man when you come into this thing that old man who you once were is made dead because that old man you see was 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 built up within this world, man. Now, through that sacrifice of Yahweh Shai, the elect of the nation of Israel, Lord willing, we be part of that number. We take part, you see, in 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 Yahweh Shai's uh, uh, sacrifice and cast off everything that you were before that, man. Coming into a whole new beam of light, which will end as we got into Hebrews eighth chapter with that immortal priesthood, man. You see, being raised incorruptible, but it begins with repentance that is only made possible through that sacrifice of Yahweh Shai, man. And you, that mean that doesn't mean just because Yahweh Shai, you know, had that sacrifice that you, you know, go ahead and you can be whoever you want to be. You got to give yourself over into Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. You see, just like the scriptures say, you are bought for a price. You are no longer your own. Pursuant to the book of the Corinthians, man. So now we got a job to do. You see. Go ahead, brother. <clears throat> Tom, going on, it says, um, verse 2. For there was a tabernacle made the first wherein was the candlestick and the, ta and the table. 
So you see the this this first covenant, all right, everything that was done within it was a foreshadowment of the of the new covenant, man, that was made with Israel and Judah as we read on the previous chapter, man. It was made with the 12 tribes of Israel, you see? All this was a foreshadowment, everything that they were doing because now you see we have that true uh uh, uh covenant and and and, and it's, it's established upon those better promises, man. You see, so just like they had, you know, they had that tabernacle, they had the candlestick, the table, the showbread, so on and so forth. Now we have that tabernacle made up of the bodies of men. We have that sacrifice being Yahweh Shai. We offer a sacrifice being ourselves. You see? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Even 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 our forefathers being, being uh, uh, you know, wandering in the desert for 40 years, that first exodus, those guys are liking under the, under the two thirds, man. You see, everything was was a was a foreshadowment uh, 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 of the fulfillment of the rehabilitation of our people, man. You see, that first Exodus. Now we're having the second Exodus. The 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 Passover, sacrificing the lamb and putting his blood upon your doorposts. You see, now we put that spiritual blood upon our doorposts, being the blood of Yahweh Shai, man. You see, go ahead, brother. Um, come on, come on. going on it says uh, going on to verse 2 and the table and the showbread which is called the sanctuary are holy and after the second veil the tabernacle which is called ye holiest of all which had the go uh, golden censer and the ark of the covenant overlaid Around around about with gold, wherein was the golden pot that had manna, and Aaron Aaron's rod that uh, budded, and the ta uh, tabernacle tables of the covenant, and uh, over it the cherubim cherubims of glory sh uh, shadowing the mercy seat, of which we we cannot now speak. Uh, particularly now, now when these things were thus ordained, the uh, the priests went uh, always into the first ta tabernacle, accomplishing the service of Yahweh. Yep. So you had that, you know, you had that area that only the priest would be able to enter. Man, there's actually an account within the Old Testament in which, uh, uh, you know, a, a fire spewed out. Of that tabernacle and consumed a number of Israelites that were around it, man. So it was a very sacred place to enter in, man. Just like this thing is a very sacred thing to enter into, man. You see a solemn assembly making up the elect, man. Go ahead, brother. What's this going on? And it's just describing the details, you know, of that of that worldly sanctuary. But now is built up in bodies of men. That's why Acts. Uh, uh, let me go ahead and grab this real quick. That's why the book of Acts says this, man. Acts chapter 7 and verse 48. It says, Howbeit the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as saith the prophet, Heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. What house will ye build me, saith the Lord? Or what is this place of my rest? So the Heavenly Father don't dwell in these, in these temples anymore, man. Which really... You know, that, that that's how it was prophesied to be since the very beginning, man. You see, the tabernacle of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai consists of the elect of the nation of Israel, man. And that's why we read earlier what it say. You are lively stones. Let me grab one more, actually, out of the book of, uh, this is the book of John. Chapter 2. In verse 20, it says, uh, I'll go to verse 19. It says, Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in building, and will thou rear it up in three days? So they were confused because they didn't understand. They thought Yahweh Shai was talking about the physical, that worldly sanctuary that we were just reading about, man. Like, man, how is he going to tear this down in three days? Remember, he was, uh, for three days, he was he was in the, the valley of the earth, man. For three days, he was within the uh, with, within the uh, the cave, man. All right, this, 
the sepulcher. Look, going on, it says verse 22. When, oh, it's lucky, verse 21, but he spake of the temple of his body. So he was speaking of his actual body. You see, verse 22, when therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said unto them that they, and they believed in the scripture and the word which Yahweh Shai had said. So, you know, that's why it says Yahweh Shai is the chief cornerstone, man. You see, that chief cornerstone that then, you know, each of us are what? Lively stones. So you got all these lively stones built up upon the foundation that Yahweh Shai has laid through the power of Yahweh, man. You see? Building up this, this tabernacle that's gonna that's gonna uh uh eventually be delivered, man. Let's see if I can grab one more if I can find it real quick, man. Yep, yep, here it is. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of the Heavenly Father dwelleth in you. So you are the, the temple of the Heavenly Father, man. You see, let me go ahead and jump back a couple verses. It says, uh, verse 13, Every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because... It shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work and what sort it is. If any man's work abide, which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burnt, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. So, Lucky, let me let me let me go up a little bit, man. So basically, what it's telling you is. You know what you've built, it's gonna be it's gonna be tried, man. We're all gonna be tried to the furthest extent of our faith. Right. You see, but the main point, let me go ahead and back up a little bit just so we can get it. Uh, verse nine, it says, For we are laborers together with the heavenly father, ye are God's husbandry, ye are God's building. You see, we're his building, man. We make up that third temple. Verse 10, according to the grace of God, which is given unto me, as a wise master, builder, I have laid the foundation, and another buildeth thereon. You see. A foundation has been laid, and then you got all these different brothers who are building their own, man. You see? Making up that 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 full uh, embodiment of the temple. It says, and another buildeth their own, but let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon. For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Hamashayak Yahawashai. So you see, there's only one foundation, man. One foundation that's going to endure what's to come one temple you can't just go and start building a whole another temple with another foundation man the only way to make it is through yahweh shai you see the only way to to receive the fullness of that new covenant begins with what yahweh shai had laid when he came and his blood was spilt to atone for the sins of the elect man <clears throat> verse 12 it says now if any man build upon this foundation gold silver precious stones wood hay stubble and then it goes on to tell you that you know the fire is going to is gonna is gonna is gonna try every every part of this temple. You see? That's why the scriptures say judgment begins with the house of Israel, man. That's why we gotta be on our P's and Q's because we don't understand that 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 the Heavenly Father dealeth with us as sons, man. You see, we come into this thing where we are gonna be tried to the point of perfection, man. Which we're only gonna receive that perfection through Yahweh Shai. You see, these other people, they're gonna go ahead and do whatever they want to do, man. Because guess what? Their judgment is going to be their death. You see? But when you come into this thing and you you take on the blood of Yahweh Shai, man, you're, you're entering into something that you are going to be judged, man. The Heavenly Father is going to deal with you. And, and, and you know, it's, it's a scary thing, man. Mm -hmm. You see? But that's what this whole new covenant is, man. You're, you're coming into the blood of Yahweh Shai and you got to understand that <laughs> there, ain't, there ain't no way out, man. You see, as, as the book of Hebrews also says, uh, let me go ahead and grab it. You got a precept, brother? I do. Go ahead. This is out of Galatians 5 and 1. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Mashiach hath made us free. Through, 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 how, how, how did that happen? Through, through his uh, perfect sacrifice, man. 
that's going on and and be not entangled uh, again with the yoke of bondage with the bondage of, of of what is taught man like the brother was getting on uh you know um uh other foundations that are, are brought upon the you know you know you, know, you got to look at it as a, 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 a in a in a spiritual sense you know um going on it says behold i paul say unto you that if ye be circumcised uh mashiach shall profit you nothing so so asking asking you know if you're already circumcised you know uh you know it, it, uh, the, basically the sacrifice of the mashiach you wouldn't we wouldn't need that sacrifice if we were already circumcised already and made perfectly you know? yeah because you got to take in that circumcision of the heart man just because you're an israelite in the flesh just because you're you're circumcised in the flesh does not mean you're saved man right you got to be circumcised on, on the inside we had a guy that came by the camp the other day and you know put up his fist and said fuck esau as he went by and and we told him hey yeah it, it goes more than that you see this is the first time we've ever seen you I'm over here riding skateboards with all these people in the world you know you got to actually repent and so what the way he responded he said oh i he, he he's like i am i got i got the beard and 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 my hair which i don't know what his point was with his hair but i told him i was like man literally anybody could sit there and grow a beard that takes no spiritual effort whatsoever man like you literally don't have to do anything to grow a beard. You could just stand there in one spot and the beard will miraculously appear. You got to actually work, man. You got to put up spiritual sacrifices we were getting. Mm -hmm. You see? Go ahead, brother. No, really, you know, and, and it teaches you that in the scriptures, man. How to how to put, uh, uh, put that, that flesh to death on, on the daily. Mm -hmm. yep, it's going to be it's going to be a fight every single day, man every single day and we're not going to be completely and utterly purified from that flesh until the coming of Yahweh Shai which is why when we read in Hebrews the 8th chapter on the previous uh, uh, breakdown was that what the laws and the oracles of the heavenly father will be written within your heart and within your mind uh, 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 upon him raising us up to to perfection man mm -hmm. you see that's when that flesh you see is going to be liberated from you completely and utterly man right. you see Yahweh Shai entered us into a liberation when he came, but we we obviously ain't perfect yet, man. Yeah. We got to wait for him to return for us to actually receive that glory, man, exactly. to, to receive the fullness of the new covenant. It's like uh, that one scripture says, uh, uh, these are written for, for our learning, roughly paraphrasing. You know, everything in here is written for our learning. So, you know, you know, for the for the time being, you know, yeah, we must fight, you know, and I had it. How do we learn how how? How to fight is through these these uh, scriptures, man. Yep. Uh, that, that's how that's how we're gonna be able to fight against the things uh, things that come upon us, uh, whether if it's physical or spiritual, man. Mm -hmm. It says going on just on first uh, verse three, for for I testify against to every man that is circumcised that he is a debtor to do the whole law. You know, just really just, you know, like what the brother was getting on, you know, is, you know, or like, you know, what we were getting on, you know, uh, if you're already, you know, thinking to yourself that you're uh, circ circumcised already, you know, you'd be following the whole law perfectly. Basically, the, the, the mindset of you, uh, uh, you know, believing that you're going to have any kind of spiritual, you know, bank account built up by by growing a beard or just circumcising the flesh is is just the same as saying, man, you, I guess you better be perfect within the law, mm -hmm. within every single law. You're made a debtor to every single law. Mm -hmm. You ain't you you have no spiritual bone in you, man. The the you got the flesh upon you, but the breath has still not been breathed into you pursuant to uh, uh, Ezekiel 47, the valley of dry bones, man. The exceedingly great army getting up, but but some of them they they just walking zombies still, man. They know they're Israelites. But they don't got that spiritual bone, knowing and understanding, man, that we are only perfected through Yahweh Shai, man. You see, it's faith that saves you, man. But we prove our faith by our works, so we try to be perfect to the best of our ability, man. It's a daily fight, and it's a daily struggle. You see? Just to wrap it up on this. But, but your flesh is not what's going to save you, man. Oh. Go ahead, Ak. Yep, yep. That's, that's what's uh, keeping you bound, man, too. Mm-hmm. Says for 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 we through the spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. This is verse five. Uh, that was verse five. Verse six. 
For in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, by faith which worketh by love. You know, so through the through the laws, uh, commandments, and and statutes that are that that was given, whether if that was given to you. Mm-hmm. But you know, that's that's what I. Come on, I'm gonna grab this real quick, and then we keep reading. Uh, this is Hebrews 10, and uh. 28, it says, He that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. Of how much sore punishment suppose ye shall he be thought worthy who hath trodden underfoot the Son of God and hath counted the blood of his covenant wherewith he was sanctified an unholy thing and hath done despite the spirit of grace. So basically what's, what's being said here, man, is under Moses' law, underneath that first law, underneath that first covenant, Salakia, the, 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 when you broke that, then, then you would die. You'd be stoned to death. You'd receive a grievous death, man. Over two or three witnesses. So how much worse punishment when you come into this thing, you see, and you take on the blood of Yahweh Shai, is it going to be when, 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 when you just go ahead and jump right back into the world, man? Because you've despised the spirit of grace, man. You've, you've trodden underfoot the son of the heavenly father. You've trodden underfoot Yahweh Shai, man. You went and took, put that blood upon your doorpost and then tore it off and stomped it down. You see, so it's a terrifying thing walking in because we're going to be tried, man. You see, as the brother was just getting on. You see, you, you, you're going to have to walk in this flesh and you're going to have to fight this flesh daily. You see, and you're going to get tried along the walk to the point where, where you're going to you're going to be able to to, to endure to the point in which we're uplifted into perfection, man. You see? To the point of Yahweh Shai's coming. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Ak. Huh, and this is uh, going on in Hebrews. I think I was on 7, if I'm correct. Con. Yeah, go ahead. But into the second went the high priest alone once every year, not without blood, which he offered for himself and for the errors of the, of the people. Right, so then you have that second part of the uh, of the worldly sanctuary in which only the high priest could go once a year. He'd go over there. You see? And, and what, was, what, what was that blood offered for? Not only for his sins, but for the sins of the people. Again, now we have a blood sacrifice being Yahweh Shai, man. Go ahead, brother. You see, so what this Hebrews is getting into, a whole new priesthood, a whole new order of a priesthood has been made Beginning with Yahweh Shai, man. You see, the ways that we held things are not the same anymore. Go ahead, brother. Um, you know that, that's why that's why um, it's, it's called uh, good news, man, as well, man. God, it's going on. It says the Holy Spirit, this signifying that the way into the holiest of, of all was not yet made manifest. Well, as the first tabernacle was yet standing, which was a figure for for the time th then present, in which were uh, offered both gifts and sacrifices that could not make him that did the service perfect, uh, as pertaining to the con con conscience, 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 conscience. Okay. which stood only in the meats. And drinks, and divers washing, and car carnal ordinances imposed on them until the time of re reformation. See, they had all these carnal ordinances, and you know the 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 the, the sacred tabernacle wasn't made known to anybody because nobody was was able to look at it. Things were just different then, man. You see, but now we've entered into a whole new covenant through Yahweh Shai. You see which has retied the nation of Israel back into the heavenly father. You see, beginning with Yahweh Shai and the elect of the nation of Israel, man. Go ahead, brother. It says verse 11, but Mashiach being come in high priest. Of you see, who be in the high priest? The order of Aaron? Yahweh Shai, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. Of good things to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to stay, say, not of this building. You see, a greater and perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, but built up within the bodies of men, beginning with Yahweh Shai. 
as we just got the few precepts on, man. Go ahead, huh? Either by the blood of goats and calves. You see, back then it was by the blood of goats and calves, but we've had the perfect <laughs> sacrifice. <clears throat> Me and Yahweh Shai, man. That's why he's referred to as the lamb. And now he's coming back as the lion of Judah. Go ahead, brother. Because now he's coming back in the glory, and he's gonna he's gonna gonna tear down this Edomite man. Huh. <laughs> Go ahead, Ak. Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by the his own blood he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. Eternal redemption for us, man. For the Hebrews, you see. Go ahead, brother. For if the blood uh, blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes of an heifer sprink, sprinkling the unclean um, sa uh, sanctifieth. sanctifieth to the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall so, the... If, if the blood of bulls and, and, and the goats and the ashes of the heifer, if they burnt it and threw up the ashes, you see... If all of that sanctified you in the flesh, how much more? Go ahead, brother. Yeah, because uh, uh, getting back in the uh, times of old, you know, like we're getting into, is that these were uh, burnt, burnt sacrifices, and, and you could get into all those, um, what, in Leviticus or Numbers? Mm -hmm. Leviticus, yeah. Yeah, Leviticus get, uh, gets into the Old Law, or the Old uh, Testament, man. Um, going on, though, it says, uh, how much more? Shall the blood of Amashiach? See, so how much more shall the blood of Yahweh Shai be, man? If if that if if the blood of these of these uh, uh, animal sacrifices atoned for the flesh, how much more Yahweh Shai? You see, and this was a yearly thing, just like we just like we just read on the previous verse. Yahweh Shai entered in one time, but on a yearly uh, 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 occurrence, the high priest went and offered the blood of these animals, man. So now you just had one sacrifice, man. That sacrifice is power, powerful enough that that just one sacrifice to atone for the for the elect sins, man. Go ahead, brother. And in turn, will cause all of Israel to be healed and cause the whole planet Earth to made to flourish, man. You see? The heavenly Father is going to have mercy upon the entire universe by having Yahweh Shai's blood spilt for the elect of the nation of Israel, man. Go ahead, Doc. Who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to Yahweh. Without spot, man. Meaning he had to come and walk. That's why the scriptures say that he overcame the flesh. That's why he was in the desert for 40 years, man. Battling the flesh so he would not sin and be a perfect sacrifice, man. The heavenly father requires blood at a transgression. That's why the scriptures say the wages of sin is death. And sin is the transgression of the law pursuing First uh, 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 John 3 and 4. Mm -hmm. So when you break the law... Then the heavenly Father requires your death, really, at the end of the day, man. But Yahweh Shai, he didn't break the law, so there was no need for him to die. The need for him to die was to cover the elect sins, because I know I've broken the law in my life, man. We all have. That's why we needed Yahweh Shai. You see, the heavenly Father had mercy upon the elect of the nation of Israel. Lord, willing we be part of that number by giving us that perfect sacrifice that walked without blemish. Go ahead. And you see, everything was a foreshadowment, man. Back then, the animals had to be without blemish. If your animal had a one eyeball, hey, it had a blemish. You couldn't sacrifice it to the Most High. You had to give your 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 top-notch uh, sacrifice into it, man. So he then brought Yahweh Shai without blemish. Go ahead, brother. Offered himself without spot to Yahweh. Purge your, your consonants. Conscience. 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 From dead works. You see, purge your conscience from dead works. You're not going to receive it by being perfect in the flesh. You're going to receive it through Yahweh Shai and striving to be perfect in the flesh, but knowing and understanding that you will not be perfect in the flesh, man. You will receive it through Yahweh Shai. Go ahead, brother. To serve the living power. Oh, wait, I think I... Yeah, that's it. Yeah, come on. <laughs> and for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament. So he's the mediator of the New Testament, man. He's the connecting point between us and the Heavenly Father. That's why we say Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shai. Go ahead, brother. Yeah. That by means of death. So the Heavenly Father is only going to hear you 
if, you, if you're calling through the name, through the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai. You see that by the means of death, what? For the redemption of the transgressions that so, were... So, hold up. For the redemption of the transgressions, to redeem those who had transgressed. Who, who was it that transgressed? Go ahead. That were under the first testament. That were under the first testament. Yahweh Shai was sacrificed in order for those who were under the first testament to be redeemed. Who was under the first testament? The 12 tribes of the nation of Israel who received it from the hand of Moses, who was given it by the heavenly father. It was written in stone. And now it's going to be written within your heart and within your mind. Huh. Go ahead, Ak. They which are called. You see, they which are called. Not every single one of you. We Well, we've all been called, Right. We've all, we've all, Israel has been called one third of it. Well, many of us have had the ears to be able to hear that calling and, and, and start coming back into our heritage and what have you starting to repent. Go ahead, brother. But might receive, might they, which are called might go ahead, receive the promise of eternal inheritance might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. If you endure unto the end, then you will receive the promise of eternal inheritance. But right now it's a might. That's why you got to strive, man. You got to truly believe that Yahweh Shai came here and Yahweh Shai is the Hamashayak. And what proves that altogether is that we've been quickened and waking up and left this dead state that we were once in, man. It proves all these brothers throughout the four corners. Man, this morning I was watching the brothers in Holland live streaming, man. This proves all these brothers around the four corners of the earth waking up to who they are. That Yahweh Shai is Hamashiach, man. That his blood was spilt for the nation of Israel. And that's why we're getting back up. And Esau's system is collapsing before our eyes, man. Oh, I got a preset real quick. Come on, go ahead, brother. This is 1 Peter 2 and 21. For, for even here on two, where ye call, uh, where, where, Slaki, let me read that. <laughs> for ever, huh. yeah, even here on two, where ye call, because Amashiach also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. He, he, he was sacrificed for us and made an example for us to follow, man. Mm -hmm. You've got to give, you got to, you've got to be that sacrifice for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. You've got to give your life up in this world in order to follow Yahweh, man. You see? Anything that you want on this side, you've got to give yourself, oh, you want to be the next NBA star? you got to give yourself over unto it, man. You want to be the best typewriter. You're going to have to give yourself over into it, man. You want to, you want to be the best, the, the best musical artist. You've got to give yourself over unto it. How much more for Yahweh by Shem Shah for the inheritance of the planet Earth to be the elect of the nation of Israel, man? This is why Jonah ran off and did his thing, man. But hey, this thing ain't of us, man. And that story made that clear. We could, we could go ahead and close up on that, brother, just for time. just for time's sake, man. But where where did we land off at? Two is uh... verse uh, verse seven fifteen. Fifteen. Come on. But with that, amen.